Hello guys, my name is Dustin, also name is Razor Game Dev, and welcome to this video on Raylib. So today we're just going to talk about what Raylib is, um, what it can do for you, and you know, just kind of giving getting you started with it. So let's uh, let's see. Let me go pull up my slides here. I'm actually going to give this pr presentation to uh, to a class in just a few minutes after, like in an hour. Um, anyway, so okay, so robot. Uh, <laughs> Raylib is a programming library to easily learn video game programming. Has no fancy interfaces, no visual helpers, no audio debugging, just coding in its pure Spartan programmer's way. Um, and <laughs> what does that mean? Well, Raylib is basically a tool for people that, that are learning how to make games. For people that want to get into graphics programming, for people that want to get into uh, software development, you know, uh, it, it's a great launching point for that. Um, it's written in plain C code. So if you want to start learning C++ is a great way to do it. It's written in C code, which means everything is just a function call away. If you want to create a window, just a function call. You know, it, it's super simple. It's also hardware accelerated. Um, it supports OpenGL up to OpenGL 3 and, and stuff like that. It includes shader support. Um, it's really fast for what it does. Um, 2D and three-dimensional rendering support. So you can create 3D stuff if you want. It has VR support. Now, of course, you're not going to create, you know, you're not going to create the next Skyrim or GTA 6 or whatever, but um, but it will give you a good launching point to learn how rendering works. Also, it has a complete binding to Lua. Now, Lua is this awesome scripting language. I'm sure you guys know if you guys uh, are familiar with my channel, but uh, yeah, Lua is awesome. Use Lua. Um, okay, so here's some of the architecture. Uh, this is straight from the website. Um, as you can see, it does all this for you. It handles support for OpenGL, OpenAL. It uses GLFW3, which I love. It's a great library for windowing and stuff like that. It has its own awesome uh, OpenGL abstraction layer. And here's all the modules that it gives you. Now, you can just uh, do function calls into these modules um, from your game engine, which is built on top of everything right here. Very, very nice. So I'm going to get down to it, you know, other people may have different opinions, but OpenGL and DirectX is not fun to use, not fun to work with. There's so much boilerplate. Just to get a triangle rendering on the screen, you have to do a lot of code, a lot of code. And that's where Raylib start, um, comes in. Like, I, I, I use OpenGL all the time for my 3D rendering, for my 2D rendering when I'm using C++. Um, but when I was learning, you know, it... W the last thing you want to do is, uh, when you're learning how to make a game, create like buffers, uh, allocate space to send to a graphics card. You know, it has nothing to do with the actual game development process, and that's really where Raylib comes in. Um, and yeah, if you want to learn more, here's some uh, links. Uh, you guys probably won't be able to click on it, but I might put some annotations right here. Uh, this is an awesome YouTube video. He does. He, it's the same thing. It's where I learned about Raylib. Um, I just want to give another presentation because I think there needs to be more because the community is relatively small, and I want to boost it up. And here's the cheat sheet. So now we're going to learn how to set it up. So let's go over to the Raylib website. Uh, let me bring this over. Here we go. So let's go to Raylib. Oh, how, how'd that show up there, you know? Lua. Hint, hint. All right, so here's the Raylib, uh, Raylib website. All you have to do is click download now, and it gives you an installer. It gives you an installer completely for free. You can actually, you can enter a donation if that's the way you want to go. But yeah, it just gives you an insta um, installer. Once you install it, um, It'll create a, uh, let's go back over here. It'll create a little directory in your C drive, and if you don't know how to get to your C drive, let's go to File Explorer. C. Now this is targeted for beginners, but it also can be used for people that are advanced with programming. You know, anyone, it, really anyone. Um, anyway, so it creates a little folder right here called Raylib, and in that folder you'll see you get Minji, MinGW, which is a compiler tool chain, so it comes with a compiler, there's no other installation. Again, I'm going to say this a lot, it's as easy as it gets. comes installed with Notepad++, with uh, tons of build scripts and stuff like that, and then the actual library itself. You can use this with um, Visual Studio, which I use, but it does take a little more work. But it comes with Notepad, all pre-configured and stuff for you. So let's go into there. Let's open up Notepad right here. So as you can see, you can open it up, and it should start with a uh, starter uh, example. And this is just one that creates a window and draws some text. And if we want to run it, we just click function or a function key, then F6 if you're on a laptop, or just F6 if you're on any other um, device. And it'll give you this little execution script. You click OK, and it will build and run your project, which is super nice. It's so easy. It's ridiculous. No m messing with uh, library files and all that. Um, if you want to go to, uh, I, this is where I have the project saved right here. 
Um, it gives you an executable. All you have to do if you want to create a new project is create a new folder, make your main.cpp or C file, it doesn't matter, whatever programming language you want to use, and then write your code there, and then open it up in Notepad. And then just build it, and it'll give you your executable. Awesome. Raylib's multi-platform. It can run on Android, it can run on Linux, Windows, of course, Mac, um, just about anything. Raspberry Pi, which I actually really want to get into because I love Raspberry Pi programming and it'd be cool to make a game with it. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to emphasize again just how easy it is to install. Oh, this is the rest of my slides, you know, just rehashing it. Uh, I'm just going to emphasize how easy it is. And this is just something that I just brought up. Um, this is... <laughs> Let me go back to the very top. This is a file. This is how Windows wants you to create your window. This is the Windows basic um, API to create a window that OpenGL can render on. Now this is around 400 lines of code just to get a window up on the screen that can render OpenGL. Let's keep going, keep going. Handling some event events uh, right here. Uh, let's keep going, keep going, keep going, and it goes, and there. That's just to create a window just to start making your game. It's a, it's it's ridiculous. It, this is how simple Raylib is. Boom, ten lines of code, and it does just about everything this that other file does. Handles events. Uh, you know, start it creates the. Uh, uh, here's a little game loop. It ends the drawing, which means it just pulls events and does everything for you. Create window at this size, the size with this title. It's super easy, so easy. Um, but yeah. Uh, one of the links I had on here, actually, let's see if I can go back a couple slides uh, to here. You'll see a little cheat sheet right here. And I don't know why it's not making it a link. It's a little bit frustrating. Anyway, let's go to this cheat sheet. These are all of the functions that you can actually use in Raylib. It's, if you want to get a key anywhere in your project, just say, is key pressed. If you want to get a key, uh, check which keys are pressed down, you can say, get is key down, you know. Uh, set and exit key. You can... <laughs> This is ridiculous. You can literally say set target FPS, and then your game will run at that F, uh, frames per second. That, if you guys worked with timing code, you'll know how much of a pain that actually is. Yeah, just a second. Let me go back. Here we go. You'll know how much of a pain that actually is to do. Uh, get your frames per second and all that. It does it for you. Colors. Um, you can draw many different primitives. Gives you some functions for checking collision. Uh, texturing. Um, if you guys are familiar with Love TD, this is essentially Love TD for Windows or for uh, C++ rather. Uh, 3D. Here's the 3D module. You know, draw gizmo, draw light source, draw a plane. A single function called a draw plane. Now this isn't like this is immediate mode OpenGL, so it's not going to be that fast. Like it'll be fast enough for you to make any 2D game that you can imagine. It'll be fast enough to make some very basic 3D stuff. But don't expect to be making something crazy. Shader support. This is awesome. And I actually want to show you a little example of shader support. Audios. You know, th there's tons of functions here. It's so easy. You don't have to actually manage that much state. This is all the state that you have to manage. Uh, you know, if you want to create a color, you're going to have a struct for that. Um, it does everything for you, basically. It is so nice. Here is a little project I've been working on in Raylib. And this is just to give a little demo of what it can do. This is less than two weeks worth of work, maybe one week worth of work, and that's with full, you know, class schedule in uh, college. So I, I think this is a good testament on how fast and easy Raylib is to use. Also, I built this uh, game using a C, it's C++, but I made it very C style. So as you can see, you know, I pass everything in via function, everything's functional. I think there's, I don't think there's a single class in this. And the reason why I did that was because I think it's easier for you guys to see. It's not abstracted away. Uh, it's it's all in the very you know it, it if you want to let's go back to the main if you want to see what render w entities does you just click F12 you can kind of go through the whole chain uh, what's what's action flags oh there it is right here you know you can easily just go through the chain and you know there's not abstracted away through classes and inheritance and all that it's just very it's very s simple and easy to see anyway let's let's run this project enough ado let's just run this project. And here we are. As you can see, there's some crazy fire right here. This fire, I just created a little emitter that I built myself. You know, this, again, Raylib isn't, I don't know if I said this before, but Raylib isn't a game engine. It's a live, it's a framework. So it's not going to give you a particle engine. You're going to have to create this yourself, which is great for when you're learning C++ because it, it gives you the tools that you need to create it. And then it's your job to figure that out. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, here's my fire. As you can see, there's some water down there. And the water is actually controlled using uh, GLS cell shaders. 
very very cool uh, this game's gonna be kind of like a Mega Man clone it's it's very much inspired by Mega Man um, you can do it air dash and stuff like that a ground dash um, so yeah let's try to get past these guys boom just like that you can see I have animated sprites pretty nice I got hit you can see my health bar so let's pick up this health supply refilled it there we go uh, this jerk right here I can't actually kill yet I didn't make it so you can um, but yeah, you can uh, shoot, you can dash, let's see if I can... Oh, oh I got hit. Boom. Ha, <laughs> sucker. And then you can go down this ladder, and that's where it'll take you to the new level. So it's very much like old uh, Mega Man games. But yeah, um, this code should be hosted on GitHub, uh, so you guys can check it out. It's in the presentation, which I'll link in the description. But yeah, it's, it's really, really simple. Really, 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 really simple. If you wanted to get started with C++, this is the way to do it, for sure. Um, but yeah, the ton check out the examples here. Uh, tons of examples for shaders. Uh, shaders do like th 3D stuff. You can build to web even using mscript in. It's a little bit more to set up, so you're not going to be able to do it right off the bat. But um, if we wait a little bit, you'll see it'll pop up once it loads. Yeah, you can see you can do some pretty nice 3D. I mean, that's not bad. Zoom in. Uh, nice. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's my presentation. Um, yeah, that's Raylib. Check it out, definitely. If you're interested in C++, if you're interested in game development, if you're new, if you're advanced, anything, check it out. It's, it's really great. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.